Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to perform mutation testing for our Rust application. First of all, let's talk about mutation testing before we go ahead and actually perform mutation testing for our Rust application. Now consider your software, your application and you have a test suite covering the tests for your software application, your code. Now in mutation testing, a change mutation in the program source code is most likely a bug of some kind is introduced like by making some changes in your code and then running your existing test suite against those changes against those that code and what should be expected is your test should fail which is killing the mutant you can kill the mutant by failing the test but even after making changes in your code your existing test suite is all green even if the program is mutated it's changed that means the mutants survived and if the mutants survive that means your program is not good enough and it's very easy to introduce bugs or make changes to your existing program without your test even knowing about the changes which could be very dangerous and potentially can cause breakdown in your software because you don't have a good test suite to uh, kind of catch bugs that's where mutation testing helps us. So basically mutation testing is a way of evaluating the quality of your test suit. It can help you catch the bugs earlier by letting you know about the low hanging fruits, the parts of your code where the coverage is very bad and the tests are not up to the mark to catch any new changes introduced. Now that you have a good understanding of mutation testing, the fruits of mutation testing, let's get some hands-on of mutation testing for our Rust application using Rust where we'll use uh, just a bunch of CLI commands to generate the mutants automatically and see uh, how a test suit should look like to pass the test or fail the test and let's see how does it work. So just before we start, there's a link to my Discord in description. Make sure you join it if you are not on my discord yet you are missing out on a lot of discussions and things that we talk about on my discord so make sure you join it and uh, connect with me there so let's begin so first of all move to the project explorer make sure you have a clean directory a clean cargo project preferably a library project if you are just playing around with mutation testing then i'll prefer you guys to add a library uh, package and in the default package we get this addition function and we'll build our test suit around this we'll pass our test we'll fail our test and we'll see how the mutation testing works so first of all open the terminal now here we need to install a, a cargo package for that you just do cargo install cargo mutants if you want to know more about cargo mutants i'll drop some uh, link to the documentation in the description so make sure you check out if you want to explore and play around so for me it's already installed so it should be uh, you know ignored but you guys can go ahead and run this command and install it so once you have this installed you can close our terminal now we'll focus more on testing today like writing a bunch of tests and then see how to do the mutation testing and how to fail your mutants now let's add our first test so we can say fn it works and add test now let's say we add a test by assert not equals to add 3 4 and we are expecting it to be not equal to let's say 29 and then we open our terminal and let's say if i do cargo test the test is successfully passed but let's say another developer comes and change this from left plus right into left into right and if i run this test it passes and my code is not able to detect if this test is enough to cover all of the changes for this or not and turns out it's not now this is manual but how should how can we do this automatically let's change it back to plus let's keep everything as it is and we'll use the installed package cargo mutants to generate the mutants and let us know for which mutants the test keeps on failing. So, so back to our terminal, let's clear this and we'll just do cargo mutants. 
now as you can see it is generating the mutants and as you can see it says when replace at u64 with one that has passed but it should not pass it should fail here it passed so it's missed similarly here it says it missed when plus in mul change with multiply it fails similarly it tries to make any other change and the test pass but the mutants fails because we have a test which is not expecting it to be 29 and it would never be 29 if i replace it with multiply if i replace minus or any other operator or even if i change the numbers it would never be equal to same so what instead we can do is basically the test would always pass what we can do instead is now it tells me the test quality is not good so i should replace it with assert equals and i should do 3 plus 4 is always 7 and now if i do cargo mutants as you can see my tests my mutants all mutants tested and none of them missed because now if i change it with multiply the test would fail if i change it with zero the test would fail if i change it with anything basically if i change the parameters i change the operator i change anything in my function the test fails meaning the mutation test says that your test suit is good enough now let's look at another example a more real world use case where we have a function with bunch of conditions and based on that we perform certain actions so as you can see we have a function on is vip client and we check if the balance is greater than 10k and time is greater than 10 then it's a vip client and we have uh a test for that with three asserts now let's say we open the terminal and if we do cargo test quite as you can see all of our tests like the funds the one test that we have is success now similarly if we do cargo mutants okay so as you can see one mutant is missed which is if we replace greater than here if we replace greater than with equal to there is no test which kind of catch this scenario so it's very easy to add a bug here and even let's say if we try to remove this part and we run then okay as you can see now even the tests are failing which is good but if we have this and we run cargo mutants as you can see it's easy to add mutants add bugs in this code so we don't have any test which covers that scenario so that's how you can find bugs in your code in your test suit you can detect the quality and then you can accordingly fix or add more coverage based on uh, how your code looks like so i hope you guys understand mutation testing if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in the next video with another interesting topic thank you bye bye